Hello guys, welcome to the channel. This is a quick reaction video to the news that Nottingham Forest have sacked Sabri Mucci and replaced him with Chris Hute and let's get into it. So yep guys, Sabri Lamucci, we knew it was coming didn't we? Zero wins from four in the league this season. They also lost their League Cup game to Barnsley. They've only scored one goal in the entire campaign so far and he is gone. It wasn't unexpected at all was it? The performances were really really poor. Lamucci didn't know his best team. He had so many players to get into the squad. He didn't know what was going on and after the end of last season as well, how they absolutely capitulated, it was coming wasn't it for Forrest. They had to make a decision, they've acted and they've replaced Lamucci with Chris Hewitt. But let's just have a look back at Lamucci and what he did at Forest because last season it was a pretty good job overall wasn't it his first season in charge he led them to their highest finish since 2011 just missing out on the playoffs on the final day that absolute humiliation at home to Stoke it was absolutely shocking six games without a win at the end of last season I think it was which saw them absolutely tail off and finish outside of those playoff places they should have been challenging for a place in the Premier League as it turns out they're now near the bottom of the championship and for that reason Lamucci had to go. Forrest have tried to back him in the market. They've signed near 60 players. Forrest have tried to back him in the market. They've signed nearly 60 players, you know, since January 2018. I know Lamucci wasn't in charge for the whole time there, but he's had so many players coming and going, so many players to deal with, a huge squad turnover. It's been really difficult for him to find his best 11 and get all those players into a match state squad. We've seen with Lyle Taylor, Lewis Graben, Joe Lolly, a lot of attacking talent there. How do you fit that into a starting 11 and get results? You definitely saw that this season when results weren't going his way. He made seven changes for the Huddersfield game on that Friday night and they still lost 1-0 and they were still really poor and he got a whole heap of criticism for it. Now Lamucci himself, I think he's been a decent manager. We saw last season what he can do. He beat Leeds United, didn't he? One of their only defeats of the season. That was a rocking night at the city ground. All the Forest fans were behind him and it really looked like they were going to finish in the top six and challenge for the top two perhaps. But since then it's become sort of defensive minded football. It's become a bit stagnant at the city ground. It's not been good to watch at all. As I mentioned, six games without a win at the end of last season for this season that makes 10 and it's been absolutely awful in recent weeks from Sabri Lamucci so they were left with no choice weren't they Forrest they had to make a move and they've sacked him and replaced him with Chris Hewton now if you've been around the channel for a little while you'll know exactly what I think of Chris Hewton I absolutely love the man he is the championship expert for me he's the best man for every single championship job definitely the right man Forrest have got in the bag obviously this was lined up it happened so quickly within half an hour or so it was announced that Hewton would take over from Lamucci I'm not sure Lamucci will be too happy that they were going behind his back to a point in his successor but he's the best man for the job Chris Hewton including Eddie Howe in that I am I think he's absolutely fantastic look at his record in the championship 2009-10 he got the Newcastle job his first job in management and look what he did there in the championship they turned to him he got them straight up promoted as champions that squad was good it featured the likes of Kevin Nolan and Andy Carroll but he got them straight back up it was fantastic stuff for Chris Hewton in his first managerial job and then he went to Birmingham after being unfairly sacked by Newcastle I think many people thought he was unfairly treated there there was a protest outside the ground when he was sacked that's how bad they thought he'd been treated but he went to Birmingham a side who'd struggled in the championship and he got them a fourth place finish into the playoffs they just lost to Blackpool in that playoff semi-final but he'd done a fantastic job and that's the job that got him the Norwich job he got them in the Premier League he finished 11th with them Norwich finishing 11th in the Premier League who would have thought it these days I mean when they get to the Premier League now they do well not to finish bottom don't they but he got them to finish 11th absolutely remarkable and then Norwich sacked him when they were 17th in the Premier League five points away from the relegation zone they got what they deserved really there they got relegated at the end of that season they should have stuck with Chris Hewton that's the message Chris Hewton himself though he went on to pastures new went to Brighton did another amazing job that's what Chris Hewton does in the championship he turned the side around from a side that was a struggling mid-table side really and he got them into the Premier League for the very first time absolutely remarkable second to Newcastle automatic promotion they probably should have won the title if you remember that final day error of Villa Park handed Newcastle the title instead of Brighton but they were probably the best team in the league that season and then he kept Brighton in the Premier League at the first time of asking everywhere Chris Hewton has gone he has done the job that has been asked for him and that's what Forest fans can expect they should be challenging for promotion this season 
What Chris Hewton does is he always leaves your club in a better place than he found it. Look throughout his career, he's done that everywhere he has been and he's going to do that with Nottingham Forest as well. Of course, they're 12 points off the top of the table. Now, that's quite a big deficit to make up, but they should be challenging for the top six this season and he's got a lot of games to do it in. He's got a good squad at Forest, a top six squad really. They've spent the money on the players, bringing them in and now they've spent a bit of money bringing Chris Hewton in to replace Sabri Demucci. I think he's going to do a fantastic job. You can see he can motivate big names. He's done that throughout his career. He can trim squad. He can get his starting 11 sorted and he can motivate this Forest team to start climbing up that table. We've seen his CV. He can win promotion and this Forest squad, luckily for them, still have enough time to do that this season under the main man. So Forest fans, let me know exactly what you think of the Chris Hewton appointment. Other championship fans, are you a bit jealous of Forest now they've made this decision? Was it the right decision to let Lamucci go? Let me know down in the comments down below and like and subscribe for more Football League content. But for now, guys, that is it. I will see you on the next one.